Hello and welcome to episode 2 of my second attempt on the Exile DLC. Today we are beginning at Rostock and I'm not really happy with the outcome of the last episode. I missed the opportunity to recruit a friend and now I'm sitting in another harbor city where... Well, I don't know how to get through this here, so... We're going to reconnoiter this town a little bit and see what turns up at the end of the day. I do have access to a townhouse, but I don't have any means to earn myself some money or, or anything uh, else useful to do with this abode. So... Ultimately, I just want to re uh, acquire resources right now, but um, let's see how good that'll go. I'm going to pick up the Dawn and uh, mix that with my es escapist attitudes and uh, we're going to produce some more tran tranquility. It's pretty bad that I don't have any operations running. So, is there anything I can do with the townhouse? Is there any plan I can pursue? Apart from the townhouse, yeah, well, let's just uh, relax a little bit. I mean, going for a little rest is not the worst, after all. So, I found some C card. These are really good as defenses. And the Reckoners are here again. They're really coming damn quick as of, uh, as of late. So, an underworld connection. Not, don't I don't know if I really want to go for that. Um, so... I really found a lot of contentment here. That's uh, quite surprising. Influence. A lot of lantern at heart. Okay, so... Do I really... I can sell off Jennings' townhouse? That would be quite naughty, don't you think? But uh, at the same time, it would be really useful for me to grab up some more cash. So uh, here goes an import license opportunity. I can only uh, get that with the right friends. I would need what ruler connections or official connections to get that. Let's keep reconnoitering and see what happens next. They're widening the search. I mean, I don't have any traces on me, so it will take a little bit longer than usual to snoop me out, but uh, maybe I should consider uh, going for a new town already. I don't know yet. I mean, selling off the townhouse would bring me a nice plus of two uh, cash. Or I could just uh, buy that rarity with that, because that uh, picture is a good one. Okay. Oh, I can't sell it off. It, it just fits the slot. It would have been really weird if it would have worked. So... Great, the Reckoners just uh, created a trace on me. Thanks, I guess. And they're sending somebody after me. Damn. So we're headed off for nowhere because Sunshine Island is definitely not an, a place where I want to go next. I don't have the cash for that. And uh, it's an end of the world. Uh, it's not possible to leave an end location, you know. I'm not yet ready to uh, go for the end of the world. So we're going to uh, visit Kaunas, where Dominicus the baker is living. That would be a very, a very good way to go. So, let's sell off our way to Kaunas, and off we go. Ah, it's a pity to leave all these things behind, but what can I do? They're sending some subtour after me, so I would lose my, uh, my goods anyways. So here, theft or sabotage. 
Okay. So, we have arrived at Kaunas. There goes Dominicus. I'm going to repeat that story for everybody who wasn't around in run one. So, uh, Dominicus lives in this town. Half of Lithuania has fallen to Poland and peace is desperately fragile, but this is the capital now. They call it Little Paris and the lamplight glows in the cafes and da the dance halls. But there is a new president and now the association of the Iron Wolf begins to tighten its jaws. So that's that's where we're at now. Lovely, don't you think? Let's talk to, Con uh, to Dominicus. He will send me off to some new quest. I can already tell. And let's reconnoiter this town right away. Because it's only a question of time until the reconners will arrive. So, Dominica serves me spiced honey cakes with kvass and chats amiably about a rival who's got hold of a seasoning Dominicus needs. He hopes it won't be too much trouble for me to help him acquire it, and then, of course, he will be free to help me in turn. So, that's Dominicus's tale. The scariest tea. The authorities maintain a clandestine department dedicated to teratogenic phenomena. I don't even know until today what teratogenic, teratogenic is, but well. Once we've found its location, we'll have to breach its walls and weather the ghastly influences radiating from its heart. So, most of the time, the quests are somehow connected to the aspect the person is, uh... The quest giver is, well, at least the last quest was most of the time. Like, I'm pretty sure it will be solvable with uh, winter. If I look here, I have some winter aspect here, I have some winter aspect here. But the problem is, they're uh, running out. I won't be able to uh, get everything slotted in there. Hmm. Well, let's rush in though. Oh, I am able to slot everything in. Nice. So I'm go going to pick up the Tranquility first, and then I'm able to uh, slot the wound before it expires. As weird as it might sound, but this game is weird after all. But I'm broke, and I don't like the feeling of being broke at all. Last run I had so much money. <laughs> so uh, we created Trace, and I found Faith. Great. Faith has some influences, and uh, is it renewable? Yeah, we can renew the lifespan of that event. I don't know yet what I want to do with the faith, but uh, well, we have some faith now. Great, hey? Also, we have some traces. I don't like traces. And the Reckoners are there. They are always at my heels. This run, I'm really unlucky with them. So... Uh, we're going to need some uh, knock influence or lantern influence. Luckily, the uh, wound offers me knock and winter, so we're good to go here. More traces. I'm just uh, leaving traces like crazy. Do we have here purchase a dangerous substance? This would be illegal if enough people knew it existed. I love that flavor text. <laughs> So that's a quite cheap curio, but uh, I don't have any means to defend my uh, goods, so right now I don't want to acquire anything that I can't defend. If I'm getting a new thief on my heels, I just would lose the money I would uh, gain, or even worse, curios. Freezing winds, okay getting some interesting distractions here in Kaunas. So, now they're searching. And they're hesitant. I'm happy. So let's see what the next complication will bring. I'm going to need six moth or six forge. I have neither of those. That's bad. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. What a failure. Just hope that I will pull off some trick now. I'm in a connection with a holy man. Well, 
Let's try that. I mean, maybe it will bring me uh, some of the aspects I need for the next chapter of my adventure. Let's keep reconnoitering this place. I might have not much time left. The traces are piling up. So, the holy man offers heart and lantern. Damn, nothing I need. No! Not good. So, looks like we're losing it at the second uh, complication already. It's bad. It's really, really bad. And I don't have anything to fill the slot here. I mean, I just would need two knock influence, but uh, I don't even have money to use a knock uh, to create a knock influence from money is the easiest way to generate that hmm. okay but the holy man can be uh well we're going to see what we what we do here maybe i'll pull something good here there's winter there's heart that's only two units of it new opportunity so well Looks like we have to go again if we want to hire Dominicus. So the Reckoners are now sending somebody after me. And I should just slot something instead of nothing. Because there is a chance that I will just succeed even though things went bad here. So... I'll just uh, slot in the freezing winds and see what happens. Pretty sure it'll go bad, but uh, let's reconnoiter this place. And uh, I would need uh, some something to use with uh, to gain money from my connection to the holy man there. And uh, obviously, we succeeded. Yes, I succeeded. Oh man, this time I got lucky. So, uh, good thing that I didn't give up, because uh, now I can slot in something with Winter Aspect. Please tell me that I have something else with Winter Aspect here available. No? No? Yeah. It's a tough run. I don't want to send Dominicus, because if I send Dominicus, he'll go on cooldown, and then I'll be not able to deliver uh, the quest item to him. I've had that before, and I failed an entire quest due to that. Due to that. So, I feel like the first allies are the hardest to get, and they're sending a assassin after me. Uh, no, a thief after me. It's pretty okay because I don't have anything uh, to steal from me, but. The thief immediately calls for reinforcements. Oh man. That's uh, unexpected. So there goes another opportunity to buy myself a weapon. Hmm. Well, that doesn't solve anything. So I don't see any other chance of uh, success other than imploring uh, the help of Dominicus. So, I'll have to survive until his cooldown wears off. That's going to be quite a hard ordeal, but let's see what we can do. So, I found some maggot spice. The seasoning Dominicus wanted, a pot of nasty-looking larval remnants. The pot is icy cold to the touch. Now I have to somehow protect protect my loot for two minutes without losing it against a Reckoner Underlord. That's going to be a really nasty situation. But uh, luckily I found a uh, official connection. That's good. Oh, I have to break up the stolen decade. Damn, I forgot that. Okay. The official connection opportunity is one of the best things that's that has happened to me so far, but I really uh, need to do something here. 
Okay. So I never, I always wondered what happens if I purchase uh, a official contact with a decade, but I have no other choice than to do than to do that because the timers, the timers are working against me. So yeah, it just eats up a whole decade. If you miss splitting up a decade in time, you just get busted horribly by the game. I have to keep that in mind. If you ever ask that to yourself and you didn't want to try it out, you don't get any benefit if you purchase a connection that accepts one year if you give them 10 years, obviously. So, well, last run I uh, wasted 10 years to a ruler and didn't get anything in return. So, Could have been worse, but I really need to fend off the uh, thieving attempts of my pursuer. If I lose that maggot spice, everything I worked for is uh, just gone. And I'm not done yet. Oh, okay, luckily he's now going to attack me. Okay, while they're attacking you, they can't steal from you, you know. <laughs> And I just want to uh, gain at least the first ally. The first ally changes so much in this game for you. So there's a knight card. Well, knight cards I could I could use for defense as well. Let's uh, no, can't use that as a defense. I could use that to clear a trace. So, since I'm not using uh, the Holy Man for anything useful in this uh, situation, I'm going to do that. Let's see what the side effects of clearing a trace are. I didn't do that too much uh, during the whole time, during the whole playthrough here. The last one, I mean. And I wonder if clearing traces has some other benefit that I didn't see so far. So... I, uh fled to a holy place and uh, that's why they didn't chase me okay so Dominicus will be up on his feet in time and I think it's time to reconnoiter a new place but no um, I'm, I don't want to block this slot because I really um, want to wait until he's uh, recovered so there we go my honey cake is still far short of its full potential so have a jar full of ice cold maggots to finish your cake if that's your thing dominicus go for it but i don't want a piece of that cake and i'm never gonna eat cake from you just to make things clear here what cake honey cake <laughs> dear honey cake so, Dominicus the Baker is now on my side, and uh, thus I can use him as a defense. Using your allies as a defense is a really good move because they gain experience and they increase their uh, aspects due to that. And there we go. A connection to a ruler, I don't want that. So, let's do that. Yeah, I gained an obscurity due to the deleting of the trace. Obscurities are good. Um, what I wanted to say is, uh, if you defend, if you send your allies on missions, they gain experience and their aspects get stronger, and your op uh, operations get done easier with the operations there, uh, with the higher aspects you have at your disposal. Here goes the experience. Once he has three experience, I can increase his winter aspect a little bit more. Okay, but he's now two minutes on cooldown, and I somehow have to uh, grind up some money, so we have to sell off a year of life for some quick cash. So, he eats up the obscurity I gained, but, uh, well, I don't mind. It's okay. So, we're going to visit Krakow. Yitzchok Ashlak in Krakow has relied on me and... Uh, for years for the rare occult text, texts. He's a hospitable man. Once you leave the current city, yeah, sure. This this name, Yitzchok. It, it reminds me of the, of a uh, of a way to write Yiddish names. Yet, well, this game is full of names that I have difficulties to pronounce, but I like that. 
in a way. So I'm just waiting until my uh, year of life is sold off. Can I do anything with the Pursuer's Wound? I don't think. So, he, this guy wants to steal again from me. That's really nasty, don't you think? It's about time to leave this place. You can't steal anything I've already paid for. So, luckily they can't steal anything from me if I already uh, am off to leave a place. And that's... That's the story of this place, but it's good. I gained an uh, ally. Allies are so valuable. Yitzhak has prepared a room for me in the attic. I'm too old to be murdered, he assures me. If they come for you, I'll hide under the table and cry. That sounds like a wise strategy to not get killed. So, Church of St. Marzana the White. On a hill above the city where the wind blows keen and fierce, a decaying wooden church stands in a bleak grove of leafless oak trees. Yitzhak tells me where there's something in there I'll find useful, but he warns me. I looked in all my books for the Saint Marzana. Where did I find her? Nowhere. Okay, I just noticed that my name is not here on the list. Second episode, so deep in them. I forgot to put my name in here. Okay, so we have a few more options available. Um, there is, <laughs> I wonder what I will find in here. I start Krakow with an adventure. Okay. I didn't expect this to be an adventure. So the castle on the hill where the dragon died looks out across a city mellow with October sunlight. Just don't spill ill, eek, uh, speak ill of the marshal. Okay. Whatever. So let's reconnoiter this place and um, let's wait what I can find here. I think I'm going to sell off a stolen year right away. It will create a trace for sure, but uh, with my luck I, I had recently, it doesn't matter at all because uh, I end up with uh, the Reckoners on my heels anyways, no matter if I have traces or not. So having some money available makes me a little bit more flexible. Pain that I lost these 10 life years. Basically, I traded 10 years for uh, Dominicus in that moment. It's a little bit hard. So far, I only get opportunities for houses in return of my reconnoitering. That's not cool. It's not helping. <laughs> so here we go. Money for a trace. Already two traces on the board. That means the... Oh, three. And only new housing uh, uh, options. So I'm going to get in there and start the adv adventure with Saint Marzana. I'm going to bring Dominicus to have a uh, nice surplus of winter aspect to begin with. But it sounds like a lantern knock adventure to me. But we're going to see. I don't have much time. The first three attempts of reconnoiter uh, were, went horrible, so... Come on! I don't need so many places. I can't afford any of those. So, let's go. The first challenge is a winter challenge, so luckily I get through that without any trouble. I'm going to uh, ensure um, some edge aspect as well with my own abilities. Opportunity for medical credentials, but I won't get any medical credentials without a connection. So there we go. That's why I started the caper right away, because uh, I was racking up way too many traces without any positive ends. So there's an opportunity to buy myself a weapon. I should, I should go for that. And let's sell off more uh, life years. If I don't have any options to uh, gain money more efficiently, I'm going to take that uh, that measure. That's something I'm going to uh, 
remember for the future. I waited too long, in my opinion, with the money gaining in the beginning of the run, and I would have been would have been way more uh, successful if I just uh, went on with it, you know. So here I would need either some more winter aspect or some more edge aspect once. <sighs> the profane weapon is not enough uh, aspect gain here. They're sending reinfor reinforcements already, so that's that. Let's see if my reconnoiter brings something op uh, useful for once. So, I have the opportunity to connect with a holy man, so that's not going to be useful at all. Last time I... Uh, uh, last town I went for that, it didn't uh, go too interesting for me. So there goes the opportunity for an official connection. Official connections are valuable. Because if possible, I'd like to try to kill my uh, pursuer this time to uh, avoid this uh, fuzz altogether. Let's see. The capers failed. Yeah, I didn't bring uh, up enough uh, resources here. That's bad. So... Well, I didn't really lose anything, except for uh, setting Dominicus on cooldown. There's five traces already, so I really gotta be careful. The, uh... My enemies will be really quick on the move to summon harsher reinforcements. But with the official, dis uh, with the official connection, I should be able to defend myself. The gun and the connection and the faith should be enough to begin with. And, uh, okay, so this guy turned immediately into a minor Reckoner Lord, and, uh, well, <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> as far as things can go, that's really bad. But I want to succeed this caper, and, uh, we're going to, we're going to do this. So, the official connection isn't of no use uh, to go for on the caper. Um, oh, damn. This is so risky for me. Let's see what the Underlord will do. The problem is that uh, with the beginning of five traces... Yeah, okay, he just summons the foe, it's time to go. I can't defend myself against the foe at this point of the game, so... Damn. That's really annoying, because I racked up just all the stuff I need. So, let's see if I can go for that caper. I just would need to distract my enemy long enough, you know? But, uh, then again, the foe attacks every 20 seconds, and he's a uh, pretty nasty enemy altogether. So, if I go for this uh, crazy idea, I want to uh, scout out uh, the surroundings here. Because it's a pretty risky and uh, daring move to uh, fight against the boss of the game right away. I want to have a uh, a way to flee. Because, uh, I, oh no, forget it. I have to reckon her under Lord and the foe on me. This won't work. This simply won't work. So this guy is attacking me and this guy is attacking me as well. So for now, I'm going to defend only against the foe. The Reckoner Underlord, I'm going to uh, accept his attacks for now. So of no use to uh, go for that. So there's my ticket to Budapest. And, uh, well... I do have a lot of edge aspect available. I would be able to finish this adventure with the resources I have. I'm pretty sure of that. As soon as my uh, attack here gets uh, back from cooldown, I'm okay. I can do that, although it will be really close. So, uh, no. I'm going to accept that I lost two years here and uh, get the hell out of here before they start stealing my cash and I get into real trouble. I grab my gun and I'll get away. So, you see, uh, my defense didn't even work, and I 
catched three wounds, it's time to go. As uh, curious as it might be what this uh, caper might, might have brought me, well, no. It's a little bit too early to wrestle with a bear. I wanted to try, you see. Uh, it was uh, it was too tempting to not try. And those wounds, they are... Uh, it's okay. Three wounds are okay. Because I have now a steady circles of knock and winter influence, which is good. I have a gun. I got the connection of the underworld connection as a intro for Budapest. And uh, yeah, that's the end of this episode, friends. What a ride. I don't feel too successful as of uh, yet, but that's that's okay. The, l the last game felt like the same. I feel like the early phase of the Exile DLC is pretty hard, but I am I think if I go for a third run, there are a few things that would speed me up. Anyways, feel free to drop me a comment, my friends, or a like or even a subscription to my channel if you want to make me really happy. See you next time. Goodbye.